All right, here we have an expected value question. Let's read it. Suppose a life insurance company sells a $290,000 one-year life insurance policy to a 23-year-old female for $220. The probability that the female survives the year is pretty high. Compute and interpret the expected value of this policy to the insurance company. We have, okay, so if we have a random variable, X. Let's, let's let that be the payout. How much the company has to pay out. Now, they're either going to pay out zero if this woman survives and 290000 if she dies. All right, so that's our random variable. Now, a probability distribution, the way, how do you make that? Well, you put the, ran the values of the random variable on the left and their probabilities on the left. Oh, sorry, on the right. So we're going to put 0, negative 290,000. Probabilities are 0 0.999489 and then 0 0.000511. That's our probability distribution. The expected value equals to the sum of the products, x times p of x. You can do that on the calculator, but in this problem, there's not a long list. So the expected value is 0 times whatever, 0 0.99. We don't need to put that in a calculator because that's 0. So don't bother right, you know, plugging that in your calculator. Just plug in the following, negative. 290,000 times 0 0.000511. Try to plug that in your calculator. That will be your expected value, expected payout. Let's see. So negative, not subtraction. See the difference between those symbols? The one on the right is a subtraction symbol. The one on the left is negative. Since we're not, oh, I mean, if you want to use the negative, you can. You just put zero, then minus. In that case, you would use a subtraction sign. So two hundred ninety one two three times point zero 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 five one one. So our expected payout one forty eight nineteen. Now notice that's the payout that the company. It says the expected value of this policy to the insurance company. So they're expected to pay out one hundred forty eight dollars. However, they are making two hundred and twenty dollars. So the expected value or profit in this case really it should be asking for the expected profit so it's 220 minus 148 19 which equals to 7181 if you plug it into a calculator what's the interpretation the insurance company now notice how they're never really going to pay out 7181 they're always going to pay out 290,000 so it's weird that the expected the expected profit to the company is 71 now they're going to make $220. They're never going to make $71.81. However, this is the interpretation. The insurance company expects to make an average, keyword average, profit of $71.81 on every 23-year-old female it insures for one year. And that's it.